morning everyone welcome back to another work week in my life sorry there was a hair on my camera it's monday and i wanted to kick off another vlog but i'm about to get started with work here in a little bit i'm actually supposed to have therapy in like 20 minutes but i think that it's like a rescheduled appointment from friday and it's virtual so i don't think that my therapist has like remembered that we were having one today so unless she sends the link in the next 20 minutes I'm not gonna worry about it to be completely honest i don't want to do therapy right now so i'm kind of hoping that she doesn't send the link just made my breakfast and we ran out of granola and i need to place a curbside order because we didn't really do a grocery order this weekend we did one on friday um so that i could have some stuff to make homemade chicken noodle soup and some grilled cheeses this weekend since i've been sick so griffin picked that up on like friday after work but i didn't get i only got a few other little things so I'm now realizing how much we're like running out of like yogurt, granola, things that I eat every day. I have crushed up little, the little mini rice cake bites, um, the apple cinnamon flavor as my granola today. So that's definitely on my to-do list for the day, but hoping this week at work will be not too crazy. I don't think it should be, but I am still sick. You can probably tell in my voice. However, I'm feeling way better than I did on Friday, late Thursday, and like most of Saturday. On Saturday, I was like, I have no idea how I'm gonna work on Monday, but thankfully yesterday I woke up feeling a little bit better. I got a lot of work done yesterday. I literally filmed like three or four reels using some PR I got. I also had to film a story set for a brand and it had to be like a really specific script that I drafted up with the brand. So it definitely took a good amount of time to record because I was basically memorizing a script and saying it back to a camera but i got everything edited for that and submitted yesterday so that feels feels really good and i'm really glad that yesterday i felt a little bit better because i did not have any energy to do it saturday and that's what i was planning on doing it and i was going to ask for an extension because it was due today but thankfully yesterday i was able to be like you know what i have it in me to do this and i'd rather just go ahead and get it done instead of getting really behind and backlogged on brand deal related things but still trying to take it easy ultimately just because i am still not feeling 100 percent. i'm just gonna eat my breakfast and if my therapist doesn't get back to me i'm gonna read for probably like 30 minutes maybe a little bit longer i might try and just finish this book if i can because it's 7 45 right now and i'd like to just get on the work at like 8 30 if i don't have therapy so if i could read for the next 45 minutes that would be awesome because i could finish my book and i updated my goodreads over the weekend with like my tbr list and holy cow i'm so overwhelmed because i've got so many good books that i'm so excited to read but i told myself that when fall comes or like when fall hits i will finish i'll pick the throne glass series back up and finish it which is a huge time commitment and i can't read like anything else basically when i'm reading that i have a lot of other books i want to read before then so ideally i want to start the throne of glass series by i'm gonna say mid-september so i only have really like a month to read what i want to read until then i'm just gonna read if i don't want therapy <music> This hotel lobby candle company sent me this candle and it smells so good. The scent is island and it's just like a really clean kind of beachy smell. And I burned some of it yesterday and I'm burning some now. Just had a cozy little morning set up so that I could read and finish my coffee with the candle. Feels like a fall morning even though it's like 105 degrees outside. <music> not me sobbing after just finishing my book i started forget me not last week let me see who the author of it is because i it was recommended to me on goodreads so then i started reading it but then i also added another book with the same title to my want to read on goodreads so it's a little confusing because i don't want to say that it's called forget me not and then somebody think it's like the other book but it is by allison derrick and oh my gosh i I only thought it was probably like worth like a flat four stars but the last bit of it really just like made me sob and it was so just emotional um so it was really really good but it's basically about this girl who this isn't a spoiler or anything this is in the summary of the book but this girl is in high school and she has this accident she ends up losing some of her memory and the part of her memory that she loses is basically her forgetting her entire last relationship with this girl so she's basically you know kind of like this old version of herself so she's basically like a senior in high school or just finished up her senior year of high school and she 
doesn't remember the last two years of her life but so much had changed in the last two years so she is just trying to figure out like who she was before her accident and everything but then at the same time um she's learning that you know she's she doesn't even remember who this girl is and how she knows her it, like feels like she's never met her but it's actually her ex-girlfriend and the ending of the book is just so emotional oh my gosh definitely some trigger warnings for like domestic violence and some stuff like that in the book so definitely like look those up i think there's a way you can like look those up for books it was so good though it was just really emotional so i was just sobbing but i'm gonna get started with work now because it's about to be nine so i just wanted to finish the book though before work yesterday we cooked the chicken sausage apple potato onion medley type meal um that is saved on my instagram on my recipes highlight and we made it as like our meal prep for this week so i just heated that up but it's honestly like you can tell it's just not a lot of food um so i'm gonna eat this but i'll probably have like another snack or something later like make a smoothie or celery and peanut butter eat some almonds all of the above something like that eat this and then i have my cherry limeade poppy i know in my last vlog i mentioned having our linens like the deposit for that taken care of and then we i also ordered my shoes for the wedding which i'm hoping work out because i do really love them um but i'm just hoping they look right with my dress so i did order my shoes but i don't think i get them till the end of the month so i'll be able to go get my dress hemmed hopefully probably early september maybe and then we put our deposit down for a videographer and i'm so happy we are doing one i think i genuinely really would have regretted it because it's kind of one of those things where it's like if i'm gonna be having this wedding and spending money on it like video just means so much to me and it's the only thing that really lets your day live on longer than that day in live moments at least I'm very good about that decision because i was so on the fence about it just because of the cost but we ended up finding someone for 2500 dollars and just a way better deal and somebody that griffin and his family knows personally so i am happy about that too but really happy that we'll have it ultimately overall the smallest packages we were seeing for the most part were like four thousand dollars and i was like i'm not doing that for the bare minimum package but the package we have will have like the whole ceremony recorded i'm just really happy about it but that's kind of like an update wedding wise where we're at so really all we have left like from my main checklist is ordering the florals which i'm doing through something borrow blooms as y'all know i just haven't decided what i want with us up at the ceremony so that's what's been holding me back so ordering the florals figuring out cake the inquiries to multiple people and i'm just kind of trying to figure out who i'm gonna go with but i'm waiting to hear back from two people and then asking our officiant to be our officiant which we're using someone from griffin's family that is ordained so those are really the only three big things we have left which is crazy there's obviously a lot of small details left but those are like the big things left which is not a lot so that feels really good obviously we still have to pay for a lot but <laughs> we just have a lot of things like taken care of i guess in terms of being reserved so it feels good i think for the rest of my lunch break i'm just gonna eat this really quickly and then i'm gonna walk ella and i actually think i'm gonna fold some laundry on the lunch break just so i don't really have to do it after work but i also really want to look into some honeymoon stuff so i'm gonna try to do a little bit of both I don't know why, but it feels like it should be like Thursday. I'm like, no, we've gotten a solid one day done this week. Getting ready for the day, I want to start using my gua sha again. I have a stainless steel one, and I picked it back up like a month ago and started using it again. Then I stopped because I'm convinced it was like kind of giving me little pimples and stuff like just by my eyes and on my cheek so i stopped because like obviously i don't want the little pimples but i like really want the benefits from gua sha so i'm like what do i do but do any of y'all like do it daily and not break out i'm just confused because i wash it after every single use and dry it off so i don't really know what the issue is there getting ready it's like seven i am literally gonna hate myself when i start back my normal routine when i'm not sick because i've been i haven't really been sleeping in because i actually yeah, i have because normally i get up at six and i've been getting up at 6 30. the last few mornings i've forgotten that the light part of my alarm was turned off because i had to turn it off one morning um i don't remember why but i turned it off one morning and i never turned it back on so just the sound has been going off and as a result i've been like waking up 15 20 minutes after my alarm started going off so i've been getting up at like 6 45 and i'm used to getting up at 6 
So I just know that my future self is going to be mad at me for ruining that. So maybe tomorrow we'll start back up with getting up at 6. And then um, that way I'm not completely ruining the uh, sleep habits and the sleep routine that I had going. Maybe I'll feel better tomorrow though to go to work out. But I feel a little bit better today. Nature Amp sent me their Vitamin Bright Eye Cream and I love it. It's like a brightening eye cream and I I just really love the consistency of it and it's it's just like kind of cooling when you put it on it's not like meant to be like a caffeinating type of one or anything it's really just for brightening which it does really well and I just really like it and I'll leave it linked down below I love all of their products I just use their nice and white gel um I use their face wash and now I'm using their eye cream too and then I've used a ton of their other products that I love and I love their body washes. I just wanted to share that with y'all because it is just so brightening under the eyes, as you can see. I hope I wasn't focused that whole last clip. I don't know if I was. I am ready for some coffee. I really want to go to Dunkin' or something, but at the same time, I don't feel like driving 20 minutes just to get a coffee. So maybe we won't do that. After work and I haven't talked to y'all really today since this morning, but that's because it was a carbon copy of yesterday, honestly. Um, I had the like same lunch and everything. I guess I had a Dr. Goodwin Olipop instead of a poppy today though. So at least that was different. A little bit of variety and spice there. I did just go ahead and fold a bunch of our laundry. Um, it's what needed to be done. I think I'm going to try to start doing laundry more frequently and as much as I don't like the idea of the washer and dryer running that much, especially with how expensive our electric bill's been. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I was thinking maybe it would make doing laundry more manageable, manageable, but if it's like, if I don't do laundry now when I do it, what well, makes me think I would do it more than once a week in terms of putting it up, you know what I mean? So I just did all that and I also just refolded things in my little drawers um, in my closet just because things got really messy and there wasn't really much space in there because everything was just kind of thrown in there very randomly lunch today though i posted some things on my poshmark um and some of them sold so tomorrow i'm gonna go run and drop those off i do know i'm gonna do that tomorrow and i was gonna pick up an heb order tonight but i forgot to place it in time so we're gonna pick it up i think tomorrow morning i am going to place this heb order now for the morning and if i don't go to a 45 i will make the grocery trip a little coffee run as well got some stuff i need to do for youtube um just like draft some concepts for a brand and i might do that tonight it feels really good to have the laundry taken care of um for the most part and i have sheets washing right now and towels just finished so i will need to fold the towels um and griffin's on a run so i'm waiting on him to finish before we heat up dinner which we're having more chicken pot pie tonight because i don't think i mentioned it but griffin's mom made this like delicious homemade chicken pot pie and Griffin picked it up yesterday and it was so good last night, but I ate way too much of it. I was like miserably full. So I'm um, going to have some of that tonight, but I think right now I'm just going to read some of um, the book I started last night, which is Done and Dusted. Yeah, Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. It's like a cowboy romance. And so far I'm really liking the style of the writing. It kind of reminds me of the way Taylor Jenkins Reid writes in first person, but I'm really enjoying it. Love that. And I just got a reel posted as well. So... made some little um, meal prepped some oat bites because I realized we still had ingredients for them so when I had a meal prepped those I think I'm gonna aim to work out on Thursday I've just been doing daily walks though um, I mean I walk a lot every day anyways but we go on like one shorter walk usually a day and then like two long walks so definitely getting some steps in there and it's like really hot so it's honestly hard to do super long walks but we get them done 820 I am gonna shower off and I did just make those and loaded up the dishwasher, cleaned up after dinner. I'm really sad because I got waitlisted for the Eras tour. 
leg two in the US. I'd like registered for Miami and New Orleans and I got waitlisted. And I feel like everybody got waitlisted except this one girl I know from home. She went to the national show and she got a code. Again, she was a system for them to only give them to people who haven't been yet. But then again, I was kind of counting on two of my friends who had already gone to get a code so they could buy my ticket and I could like them them for it or whatever. But they also got waitlisted. So I'm so well. But I didn't fully know if I was going to go anyways because honestly, I didn't see myself spending over like $300 on a ticket. Like if it was any other time, if I wasn't getting married and having spent a ton of money on the wedding, I never even looked into going the first time around though because I just didn't have anybody to go with, which is a little depressing and sad. But and I could have brought Griffin, like he would go, but like he wouldn't want to spend money on that. You know what I mean? So, and I'm not gonna buy it. I didn't really have anybody to go with here in Houston, which I have friends that went in other cities and I could have, you know, gone and seen her with them, but that would have been a plane ticket on top of the ticket price. If I wasn't even really like wanting to pay for the ticket, um, why would I want to play, pay for a plane ticket too, you know? So let's show her off and get ready for bed. I cannot believe it's only Tuesday. I don't know why this week just feels, it's going by so slow. It is crawling and I need it to run. Um, hi, I just had a mobile order for Abby. Thank you. Yes, thank you. It is a good morning because I just got a free iced coffee from Duncan. If you use the code bananas on their app, you get a free iced coffee through August 15th. And I got the blueberry cobbler like drink, which is the butter pecan and blueberry swirl or the butter pecan swirl and blueberry like flavor shot. Um, I did two pumps of each though, instead of like the full amount. Um, the blueberry is unsweetened and butter pecan is sweetened though. And I went ahead and picked up groceries. So we're good there. But yeah, this coffee's way better than I expected. I got blueberry before with like caramel, I think, and it was just like wasn't as good. So I like this one. About to get started with work. Y'all just saw I ran to Duncan. So I uh, got the rest of it over here, but I wanted to show y'all what I'm wearing because I just love it so much. Um, this top is from Princess Polly. I think my code's still active. It's Abby for 20% off, and I freaking love it. The cut and the color of it, like this color of gray t shirt is my absolute favorite. I don't know what it is about this color gray, but it just like screams cozy. I have my stuff together. I know what I'm doing with my life and I love it. And the crop of it's perfect too, because I feel like you can wear it. It's cause it's not like full length. This is as far down as it goes and that's past my belly button. So, or it's like right under my belly button. I love it. And yeah, Abby gets you 20% off. And then these bike shorts are from Aritzia. They're the TNA butter ones that y'all know I love. Don't spend money on Lulu line. Um, they changed the Lululemon Align material a long time ago and it just doesn't hit the same for me So I just get TNA butter when I want like comfortable leggings. I love Lululemon for other things but in terms of like buttery soft leggings and bike shorts and Stuff like that the Aritzia TNA butter collection is Much better in my opinion and it's cheaper. So I'll leave on linked but I mean it started with work Turn on your mind again. I just got home from my eye exam. My prescription did change, which is annoying because I literally just got a six month of supply of contacts. I don't even know how long ago it was, maybe a month ago, and my prescription changed, but it's okay, it didn't really change that much. Um, but I'm gonna try out dailies. I'm like new to the contacts world and everything. I just started like wearing them last year. And I initially got my prescription for the bi-weeklies, so that's what I've been using. But I've noticed when I've traveled lately, I'm like, oh, dailies would be so much more convenient, but they're a lot more expensive. So I didn't realize you could have two different prescriptions for contacts. Like you could have one for dailies and one for bi-weekly. So I think my optometrist is gonna do that which is nice. So I'm trying out dailies now, but it's crazy because I didn't realize my eyesight, like could definitely, my astigmatism went up in my, both of my eyes, I guess. So um, I guess that's what changed, but I ran into Target because my eye doctor is like where Target is and I got a few things, just some stuff that HB was out of and that I needed, but I also got a toothbrush which I've been meaning to get for forever. 
I got this Phillips one. It was ten dollars off from Target today, and then I also got my extra five percent off from the Target um, debit red card. And I was gonna get it on Amazon the other week, so I got it cheaper. Some cream soda Olipops because our HEB's been out of them like the last week and a half. And I got two of these Rowdy Mermaid kombuchas. I have tried one of the flavors. This is the savory peach, but they were on sale for a dollar seventy nine, which was nuts. That's like so cheap for a kombucha drink and I got purely Elizabeth horse and I want to try these I feel like I've tried them before but I'm not 100% sure the Siete Tro chips and oh oh my gosh this is the most exciting thing I'll try it tomorrow morning for y'all the Calipia Farms I literally saw this on Instagram yesterday on my explore page and I sent it to my friend and I was like OMG this is crazy but all of these were like turned facing like this way to where you couldn't read it and then I was like, wait a minute, is that one of the new Califio ones? And I was like, holy cow, I can't believe they have it. Um, so the caramel apple crumb crumble oat creamers, I'm gonna try this tomorrow. I'm so excited to try it. I really, I'm like nervous for it, but I'm also excited because I feel like it'll be good. And y'all know I love my cookie butter oat creamer. Um, so I have high hopes. Griffin so kindly made dinner while I was gone. So um, we're about to eat, thank God, because I'm like literally could eat a cow right now. So. Gonna eat dinner and um, probably take Ella on a walk and I'm gonna get the stuff put away now. I'm gonna do a live taste test on my Instagram. Not like going live, but like sharing it on my stories as I try it type of live. For the new creamer I got, I don't even know where I put oh, I was like, I put it somewhere random in the fridge because. There was no space, but I'm gonna try the crumble, apple crumble. But I'm gonna try it, and that's why you should follow me on my Instagram so you can, because y'all aren't gonna get the live taste test here on YouTube, I'm sorry. I'll give the short version of what I said on Instagram for the coffee creamer, but basically, I think it's really good. I get like a solid eight and a half, nine out of 10. I don't think it's very caramel forward. I'm getting a lot more apple cinnamon taste from it, which I personally love, so if you like that, um, especially if you like that apple crisp drink from Starbucks, that creamer is very comparable to the flavor of that, but just a lot less sweet because that syrup is like super sweet at Starbucks. But I would recommend not making a latte with it and putting it in like an iced coffee or a cold brew or a hot coffee because I made my usual latte and it's just too much oat milk going on because the oat milk, the oat flavor is pretty pronounced in that creamer. So like more so than the cookie butter one in my opinion. So having oat milk and that creamer is a little bit overkill on the oat milk flavor. So with that being said, I think it'll be really good in hot coffee this fall. Um, I would love to make a hot coffee tomorrow to try it out. Maybe I will, just for the sake of trying it, um, for you all to let you all know. But it's a little hard to get myself to want to drink hot coffee when it's like 105 degrees outside. For my workout outfit of the day, I just wore this um, Lululemon Smooth Cover Yoga Bra, I think is what it's called. They actually have some of the colors on sale right now, um, like the actual colors, colors that aren't neutrals. This one's not on sale, like the white, but I really like it. I got it a few months ago, if y'all remember. And then my Fast and Freeze, these are like a brown, brownish red color. They don't have them for sale right now, but they have like a terracotta. I think that's like pretty similar. It's just more red than brown, but I love these in the fall, even though it's not really fall yet. We're pretending it is since I have that creamer and stuff this morning. <laughs> time and I am going I don't know why I slam that so hard I'm going to make a little egg in a basket um, I know a lot of people call them different things I call them egg in a basket Griffin and his family calls them bullseyes basically just toast with an egg in the middle over easy and I don't even think I've talked to you guys about it yet but Taylor's version of 1989 just got announced like last night one cannot even describe the immense amount of jealousy that I feel um, from all the people who got to be there for that announcement and two for the people who got codes for the second leg of the US tour. So immensely jealous of anybody that got to be there for the announcement last night because when I saw the TikTok about it this morning or a TikTok about it, I literally got tears in my eyes. I don't know why. Like I'm definitely a Swifty, but I'm not on like the same level as a lot of people and I've said that before. But if we're like comprehensively talking about an album like from beginning to end, like as a whole, 1989 has gotta be one of my top two, I would say. Um, I love like some of my favorite, favorite songs 
are from albums that like aren't in my top two, I would say. 1989 came out when I was 16 and a half. And I, when I tell y'all, I was going through so much at that time. And I just, I literally can just vividly remember being a junior in high school and just going, I was going through so much and so much of the songs on 1989 articulated what I was going through. So it was just sort of like a safe haven kind of album for me. But like a lot of my friends, I didn't really know anybody that liked Taylor Swift that much besides these two girls. And I have like this very specific memory of all of us waiting to get out of our junior year like parking lot after school one day or it was like on lunch or something and we were all like we had our windows down because we were talking about where we were going or something and all of us were listening to 1989 and that's just like such a core memory from junior year so i always think of just junior year when i think about 1989 and i don't know that album like was i was just going through so much and it was it meant a lot to me and it still does start to finish overall as a whole it's one of my top two for sure and i'm just really excited for it to come out and then zach bryan's coming out with new music soon band camino's new album comes out literally tonight and i'm just so excited for all this new music because i've been in such a music slump lately and listening to like the same stuff all the time which is fine but but i'm just hoping and praying that something works out and i'm able to go to one of her shows next year because i will be distraught <laughs> if she did all of this and i didn't get to experience a single night of it even though i feel like i've gone because of tiktok but i am so excited for taylor's version for 1989 and the cover of the taylor's version it is my favorite re-release cover by far it is perfect chef boyard g what's wrong i don't know it just seems like there's a lot of liquid in it it's just messy <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Two nights in a row. Oh, I was expecting a high five. <laughs> been the longest week ever i seriously am ready for the end of today to be here but at the same time i don't want the weekend to be here yet because i just know it's gonna fly by because i have so much to do i have to reshoot a brand deal that i did last weekend and nothing was wrong on my end with what i did it was more so of i was sent the wrong script i have to reshoot which is fine but i have to do that and i have to film another integration and some instagram stories and then I need to edit this video, I need to record a podcast, and then Saturday night we're going out for my sister-in-law's birthday and I completely forgot about that. So I'm just like, well, this week I'm gonna fly by because I have, like, I'm probably gonna record my podcast and edit tonight because Griffin's gonna be gone because he's going fishing with a friend um, overnight in Galveston and I'll probably just go ahead and do that work so that I don't have to do it like while he's here and I want the video to go up Sunday so I pretty much have to edit it tonight. I'll be working after work today and then, I don't know, tomorrow morning I kind of wanted to like go try a new coffee shop and maybe go to a sped class or something because i didn't go to f45 this morning i've done the workout that is cycling through right now on fridays and i i really like it it's a really really tough workout but i don't think i need to do it which i don't know the exact exercises but i remember last time it being very painful for like my forearms because there's like an upper body like pod of it that kind of just fatigues your upper body like your arms and everything and I was just like I just don't feel like I can take that right now given the issues I've been having with my nerves I might just go to spend tomorrow but the only issue with spend is I have to like pay now and it's not included in my gym pass plan so I really just don't go very often because it's like you know 30 bucks for a drop-in class which is crazy so I prefer going to places that are like in my plan. And I think Soul Cycle is in my plan, but I don't want to go to Soul Cycle. I want to go to like my local studio. So, anyways, I just made my yogurt and granola and my coffee. And I actually made a hot coffee today, which is crazy considering it's like 100 degrees outside right now. Um, and I didn't have any, I only had the peppermint pinwheel pods from Christmas and then the pumpkin spice ones from last like fall. So the, these pods probably aren't even good anymore, but we're drinking it anyway. So those are the only pods I had. So I thought I had a regular coffee pod that like didn't have any flavoring in it so I could try it with the creamer, but we're trying it now with um, the pumpkin spice. 
Okay, that, that that creamer hits in the hot coffee. Like that, it tastes completely different in the hot coffee to me because it's just a lot more smooth and it blends with the flavor of the coffee a lot better. Just for an at-home coffee to have like an apple crumble flavor, I feel like that's so hard to mimic with, you know, like syrups and everything and like something you can only really get at coffee shops. So good on Califia for getting us a flavor like that. But I am going to listen to the Band Camino's new album that just dropped while I Take care of a few things for YouTube but before I hop on to work. Taking a bit of a later lunch today. I've been grinding all morning. I was listening to some music and then once I kind of like just listen to music, I was listening to Taylor Swift all day yesterday and then the bank piano all morning. So I ended up just putting on some YouTube videos on my phone while I was just grinding out my work. But I've just had a lot of honestly really easy stuff to do that like literally anybody could do. It's like very much so intern work. I That's what I kind of have been calling it. But it has to be done and our interns just left. So it's falling on me now. Um, just very time consuming, tedious stuff. So I just had YouTube videos playing in the background. But I finally finished that up and then I have a little bit more to do. But taking a later lunch, um, I just made a salad just from the HEB. Um, sweet kale salad kit. I just did about half the bag and then I'm also making another egg in a basket today because I'm just on a kick with those right now and I have a brow threading appointment here soon um, so I'm gonna go run and do that but I'm literally there for like less than 20 minutes because it's just so quick so I love that I'm able to do those like on my lunch break because on most appointments it's like if I take them on my lunch break they like completely take up my entire lunch break just going to them and I don't have time to like walk Ella and eat food but I love brow threading appointments. I also hate them because they're painful, but I love them because they are so quick. Here's the after of my brows. I swear having your brows done just makes the biggest difference. I feel like my face used to look so different when I didn't get my brows professionally done. I also just found out there's a photo studio in this building where it's at, which is like so cool because I y'all know I've been like running studios to get content for brands and everything just because we don't have the best lighting in our home and then just to have more space to work with because we don't really have any blank walls in our home either that are um that like look good for being the background of photos and everything especially that have good lighting so i've been running studios out so much or i've, I've done it twice i say so much but i just found out there's a studio here and that's i really want to see what their rates are because i think it's just so much better um to shoot content in them for me at least for most brand deals not all brand deals but for like a good bit of them um especially clothing related ones i feel like i definitely want to look into that and see how much their um rates are because this would be a good close by option um because everywhere else i've seen for photo studios it's like i'm having to go downtown or near downtown which is a little bit of a commute for me yeah the brows look great i just hate the whole process of going because they just it hurts like it's it's the weirdest pain because it's not like it's just discomfort really but I highly recommend getting your brows started um if you haven't tried it out before but let's head home and finish this work day we're almost done it is seven and unfortunately i'm still freaking working i hate that i'm even saying that on a friday anyways i ordered some chipotle when i realized i wasn't going to be getting off work anytime soon it's been sitting down here for 30 minutes i'm gonna eat it they really loaded me up with guac wow um i just get rice um light fajita veggies and this is a veggie bowl, so I love getting a veggie bowl because the guac is free, or it, it's included with the veggie bowl. So rice, light fajita veggies, um, light cheese, extra corn salsa, and light black beans, and then the guac comes on it. And then I got some chips heat with it. I'm going to crack open a Tobachico and eat this and then get back to work, I guess. We just got our first package from our registry in, which is so crazy. Um, I like can't believe it's real, but we, I don't really remember why I put eight. I think it honestly might have been a mistake. Like I, it didn't load and I meant, only meant to put four and eight loaded onto the registry and I just didn't catch it because I can't think of why we would need eight bowls. But anyways, um, these came in, they're from Crate and Barrel, I'll leave them linked. And four of them, unfortunately, are broken. So I'm gonna take them back to Crate and Barrel. Thank God we have one here in Houston because I don't know how I would go about like returning it in the box if they let me do like a store credit i might do that for the other four since i don't think we need eight bowls and i truly think that was a mistake like i don't know why i would have put eight yeah, i really like them and then we have some similar plates and i'm so excited to get rid of like our 
mismatched things from college. Like we have two of these bowls from Griffin's like apartment. One of them's broken. And then we have um, two white bowls that are like from basically like the Target Room Essentials brand from when I was in college. And yeah, we just have like a mix and match of random things like Griffin's plates, plates we bought, my college plates, my other college plates. So um, definitely going to be donating some of these or seeing if Griffin's younger sister that'll be going to college soon wants some, but very thankful that we will be having some new stuff that is actually all matches and it's cohesive. And I went ahead and picked up groceries, so we're good there. Mm -hmm.